Thank you. Is it a beneficial additive or is it a poison that we consume on a daily basis? That's the debate taking place since a Milwaukee alderman proposed ending putting fluoride in Milwaukee's drinking water. Beverly Taylor reports today two sides pro and con had their say. Fluoridation in drinking water, good for you or harmful to you? Depends on who you ask. We're talking about consuming a poison. Its impact on the body is not exclusively drawn and left to the teeth. Milwaukee Alderman Jim Bull is adamant that it's a bad thing and had a news conference at City Hall with experts who agree with him. But the pro fluoridation side also held a news conference at the same place. Decay rates would be astronomically high if we discontinued water fluoridation, particularly as it applied to families who already have limited access to those routine dental care providers throughout each municipality. Thursday afternoon at the Common Council's Steering and Rules Committee meeting, the alderman introduced his resolution to end fluoridation and another to create an oral health program for medically underserved children with the $540,000 the city would have spent on fluoridation. The debate resumed at the meeting over what's best for Milwaukee's water system and for the 15 other communities that utilize it. It is a corrosive poison that the EPA regulates as a pesticide that we put in our water that we don't control for dose. In Wisconsin, fluoridated communities have a 15% lower disease rate in dental disease. So um, if you remove the fluoride in Milwaukee, you're going to see an increase in disease. The CDC and HHS are proposing decreasing the recommended optimal amount of fluoridation in drinking water. Christmas is once the recommendation is made, the Children's Health of the Alliance will embrace the new levels. But Alderman Bowles counters that by saying the CDC has also recommended fluoride for topical use, as in toothpaste, not consumption. Bowles' resolution would have to be approved by the committee and then the full council before the city would make any changes to the water system. Live in the newsroom, Beverly Taylor, Fox 6 News. So it is the city's jurisdiction here. MMSD doesn't come into play. The aldermen can make this decision on their own. As I understand it, that's the way it is. Beverly Taylor in the newsroom, thank you. Mm -hmm. It has been happening late at night. Well, late at night for those of you who don't work second shift like we do, but the <laughs> brewers have been getting their act together this week. And they're doing their business.